but he shouldn't have much longer. I mean, other than me, he's probably the only one that actually cleans his tables a lot. <laughs> oh, I, I feel like he deals with this at this point. Oh my god! It's Marshall Marshall! Oh, you hate you. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been an important player, I suppose. Well, just thinking that you can get us both. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was like before I left, I had a bunch of plans for business, and now that I'm back, they've all gone and shit themselves. Yeah, you know, I feel like if you don't get your business plan started in about three to five business days, then everyone is just fucking walking on by. Yep, I had plans to set up a business in Valentine. Someone bought that within hours of it being opened oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was in talk with the uh, with North about, uh, you know, finding a space in Blackwater for there, and he kept offering the, uh, Space behind where they're, where they're building the office that was the warden's place. Mm -hmm. And I kept telling them, no, that's the warden's. I don't want to step on their toes. And now apparently someone else is starting to work out there. So, yeah. well, I mean, no one else has any goddamn respect. I mean, uh, I mean, I'll tell you up front. Um, I mean, the warden's been put on hold for the foreseeable future, I suppose. Players not around very yeah, often. So. And we haven't seen that in months, so. And they sort of. Much. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got my absolute, um, I'm absolutely flat out, uh, on the ranch as well at the moment, so I don't really have the time to dedicate to anything. But, um, you know, I, I told, I told her, you know, it's, there's nothing in the same, but you can't just put it on the shelf for now and come back to it if you, if you have the time for it later. I don't think anyone would be upset about that, so. Right. Now, I saw your poster about the, uh, barrel races, was it? Yeah, 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 I've been doing them pretty often. Um, we try to do them once a week. Um, we have one scheduled for this week too, but I actually do need to talk to Tyler about it because I have a feeling it is. Um, I, have, I have no idea. Are you okay, Mister? There were a couple um, of folks just charging those guns over the Biden medical camp like the idiots they are, but in fact, there they are, it's just behind you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I have a feeling that the Blackwater Halloween event is on at the same time, and I have a feeling that it would be kind of rude of us to run an event at the same time. So I might have a chat to him sort of thing. I mean, only because most of the people who come to the to the barrel races are the Blackwater crew, so I have a feeling they'll be down here for the Halloween event anyway. So yeah, rude or not, you're splitting your audience, and that ain't a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I don't need to swear when they had everything set up for us, so I want to have a chat with Tyler too, so you can just say, hey, why don't we just, you know, if worst comes to worst, we can always just get, you know, um, we can always just all have it organised, but, uh, oh, sorry, I thought I just saw something absolutely wild for a second. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Wow, look at her wearing the green. Hmm, saw that, I swear. Yeah. How are they? Hello. How are they? Just talking about that. Oh, what do you mean? You wearing all that green? Is Good there on. is there something wrong with green? No, no. I mean, the first time I see it. Clearly not. It's crazy, isn't it? Mhm. Mm I could wear it. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello.
Da, 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 da. Hello.
to shoot at some kids picking through the wood pile. No respect. Well, yeah, that's the way it goes. That rifle is going to uh, make things a lot easier, but I still suggest to use a bow. It uh, it's easier to take them out silently. Sure, but uh, sometimes I like to be the loud and brass type. Of course. Well, I'm probably gonna head on down to the saloon. Need to grab myself a drink. All right. I'll see you around. Sure. It's brash, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Thanks. other saloon is open too, I believe. Oh, oh. oh. sorry. That one's <laughs> better, anyways. Continue with your story. Uh, yeah, the winners were given something that could help, is what she said. So it turns out she was looking to help for this day of reckoning coming up. Coming up. Really? So yeah, the whole she's, time. She's not working with the Reverend. No. Not the Reverend, not the Master. She wants to help in her own way. You know, she was causing people severe emotional distress and laughing about it, but um, I don't know. Her motivations are uh, unknowable, I guess. Mm -hmm. But the end result was uh, something good, I would say. I'm glad... And yeah. I'm glad that Dallas is one of them. He's, I think he's going to do well with it. And Jade. Absolutely. And Ash is a nice enough guy, and he has a lot of friends. Those uh, Van Horn people, they stick together. She. Hello. Oh, is that uh is that you Steven uh Porter right yep uh, just the man I've been looking for I owe you some money Here's you do yeah would you like to follow me to the bank sure all right I'm uh, glad you made it all the way out here. Saves me the trouble going to Blackwater. Well, I didn't have anything to do anyway, so... I know I gave you, what was it, 2,000 last yeah. time we met? There you go. Thank you kindly. I know I said uh, I was going to give you 6,000, but uh, you were able to release or have him released almost uh, the same day. Yeah. So I, uh, I give you another thousand for it. Oh, that's mighty kind of you. Mm -hmm. You uh, keep up the good work. Well, I certainly even though do. that man, even though that man didn't really deserve it. I mean, deserved or not, um, if I'm hired to represent someone, I represent them. Right. Well. If uh, you ever need anything from me, I will be by the sheriff's office. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that a badge I see there? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, congratulations. I uh, became, became the uh, deputy here, not the sheriff. Well, re uh, congratulations regardless. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hopefully uh, this path won't get me killed. I sure hope not. You're a kind woman. I appreciate it. Well. 
<sighs> Welcome to uh, Valentine. I believe. Uh... Oh, why am I running? I believe uh, not the saloon in front of us, but the one to the right is actually open now. If you ever want to get something to drink. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to hop on by before I leave. Mm -hmm. At least I think they're open today. I'm not sure. But nevertheless, uh, you are welcome to uh, visit anytime. I mean, it would be really bad if I wasn't welcome anymore. <laughs> well, take care, Miss I am Selene. just, uh, yes, you, you too. I am just bad with conversation, this is all. But uh, safe travels, all right? Yeah, and uh, hope today will be quiet for you. I hope so too. Damn, so. Does Dawn has a boyfriend? No, I sure don't. Good day, sir. Hello. Welcome to the Hello. clan. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Can we, can we interest you in some uh, our finest Dawn whiskey, some barrel whiskey? What you looking for, son? Uh, I'd like a whiskey. Oh well, we got two um, types: top shelf or uh, medium shelf, so to say. Oh, well, uh, take a try at your uh, top shelf. Oh, all right, all right. Nice choice. It's a good choice. Been blessed by Miss Dawn herself. Oh my goodness. Oh! <gasps> what? You could. Think you not saw that? You're right. Uh, mm -hmm. What's going on? Never mind. I, I guess mm -hmm. I'm just smoking too much herbs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so he pulled told the gun you on to share that shit Oh with my goodness. Crazy man. How to Miss Celine? How to Miss Dragon? Hello there, everyone. Welcome to the I... clam. Actually, I need to uh, yeah. put him yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Good to see you all out here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, for sure. Hey, yeah, mister. That'll be ten dollars. Oh, let me get away from that. Uh, little... What's oh, going on? What, what the, the hell? hell? Yeah, what the hell is what? that? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope. <coughs> what the hell just happened? My bar. Oh my god, what's going on? Is everybody all right? Huh? Everybody! Oh no. Come here, mister. Get you out of here. Everyone out. Come on, we gotta get everybody out. Why the law turned their back on all my folk? What the fuck? There you are, sir. I'm sorry. Who was that that just ran? I don't know. Oh, that was Jack. What yes. happened? Did you see that? What the hell yeah. just happened? I, I, guess, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I think it dissipated. We gotta get him out of Somebody there. bring these people to the doctor. I gotta get Mr. Junior out of there. Something. Yes, some poison gas. I was aiming for the table. You have to be gentle. Ah, yes. 
um, check their pulse. I saw a uh, green mm -hmm. look at this. green smoke coming out of the back door. His his pulse is elevated. Okay. I believe she's alive. He, if he has some, some shit. I, there isn't much I can do in this become. Just, you just need to relax. Just take it easy. Take some deep breaths. Get I'm some okay. clean, clean air in those lungs. I'm gonna give him something to breathe in. Yeah. Are you okay? So, what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah, I saw I came in to get a coffee from Lyle because I just ran into him and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Are you alright, Mr. Porter? Can you hear me? Oh. Yeah, that happens. You need to take it easy now. Okay. Take it easy. Um, I'm going to investigate uh, what that was. What just well happened? Done. Can you breathe this in for Mr. Lord? Clear your lungs. <sighs> Mr. Chen Chen, what was that? I... Okay. Why I looked that door. Oh. Please don't breathe this please. Your lungs. Oh, thank you kindly. I have no friggin' idea. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Okay. What the hell was that? No, please, can you all tell me calmly what happened? Well, I saw green smoke and I couldn't breathe. And then I, I don't remember no more. Okay. And it was real hard to breathe for a moment. I want you to keep bending this on the end, okay? Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it. Can put a bend in on and don't breathe it in. Uh, Alright. If it happens again, I want, I'll hold my breath and I'll run out. And <coughs> pull up your bend in it to cover it up to Oh, right, right. right. Okay. A good idea. Thank you kindly, Mr. Riker. I appreciate it. And keep some mint on the end with you. If you can maybe light a couple of candles and put some mint around in the saloon. Oh, all um, right. I'll do just that. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Thank you very much, Mr. Riker. Always. And Mary, and if you're feeling nauseous or anything like that, there's not exactly much I can do, but if it was a toxic gas, you may be poisoned from it. And if oh you're poisoned goodness. from it, I don't. Half the means of, you know, suffice to say, I wouldn't have an antidote until I know what it is. Oh my lord, well, I hope it wasn't poison gas. Alright, let's uh, okay. I didn't speak to you. Alright. Are you feeling okay, son? Thank you for the help, sir. That uh, really woke me up I'll there, by the way. Alright. Get yourself some food, okay? Hello. Yeah, Stepped in, and all of a sudden, this smoke started appearing from behind the counter, and so I just buggered straight out of there. Right. Uh, and nobody had, like, trouble breathing still I gave them something to help clear their lungs but if okay. it's from toxic gas there's a chance I could be possibly poisoned right and I don't know how to counteract it if I don't know what the point mm. Huh? What? What? 
was it um did it start from inside uh oh sorry I... yeah. hmm. well uh, uh yeah 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 hmm. i thought it was coming from the outside i saw the green smoke coming from the back door oh my goodness the, the, back, the back door was closed i'm, I'm pretty sure hmm. I think it was might have been seeping out of the windows. Oh, I, was, uh, I heard a glass break, and then the uh, the cloud just appeared. Oh, are, are you are you okay, sir? I can guarantee you, we, here at Clem, we will investigate it, and we will hmm. uh, we will compensate the, the 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 damages that you have occurred inside. Oh, that's all right. I I just wanted to have my whiskey. Right, I did hear a glass break right I before it started. A... Oh, I don't think I did, but I wasn't listening very carefully. I'm uh, going to have to check the insides better done. Can you help me uh, cleaning the inside? Yep. I'm going to close the uh, door put, so that nobody can some, come in. Uh, I'll put some sage around too. Mr. Riker said that that might help with the smell and the, right. the gas and purifying. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's clean this place up. Oh, uh, my hat is probably still inside. Can I pick it up? I think you should buy a new hat, sir. Uh, so enough. I want everyone to stay outside for a moment. Into the saloon. What on earth is the name of that whiskey? Libations. It's alcohol, son. It's good drink with the friends. That's what that means. It sounds like a disease. Well, I'm sure there are some diseases. That Wait, what am I? What, what is that that I'm seeing? Does that what say squirrel? Squirrel boy, y'all more than squirrels in here. Squirrel boy, you see it's crossed off. We're adjusting it still. All right. Excuse me. Better not be born in the pain of once. Judith, put up the goddamn door. You don't got the keys. Be clear. Yeah, going. They're like cleaning up in there. Yeah. Lyle, Lyle, Lyle. You got oh. Hello. You jump through that window. Touch. Hello. Oh, oh, howdy, partner. We are we're closed currently. We are trying to clean up the joint. We had an incident. Well, all right. <laughs> Sorry. What happened? You well, dropped the jar of pickles. You want some pickles? Yeah, what what happened? And they dropped the jar of pickles or what? Oh, uh, Mr. Junior isn't the best at cooking, and he made some weird egg and milk rotten old milk concoction, and it knocked us all out. Well, them poke, I smelt worse. Tang is just talking with someone there. Yeah, he's talking with this dog, not let me and my own guy. He, oh. he he doesn't like windows broken, but he sure as fuck acts like he wants them broken. <laughs> Open the goddamn <laughs> door for me, Mr. Junior. Let me help right clean.
Howdy. Hello. That's a that's a nice horse, Albert. Yeah, what do you think of that horse? Is that a zebra or something? Yeah, what is that horse, fella? It's an Hungarian half bred. Ooh. It's half bred? Hungarian half bred. It's hungry, hungry for half bread. No, it's an Hungarian half bread. Oh. Yeah. I, oh. That don't clear things up for me much. It's half bread. Half bread? What's half mean? If you cut a loaf of bread in half, what do you have? Bread? You have two halves of bread. You have two, two real big bread. slices. Yeah, you only got one horse though. Is that why it's two colors? No, half bread means that it's half one breed and half one other breed. Alright, what are the so breeds? Which breeds are they? Well, one of them is a Hungarian war horse and the other one is an American thoroughbred. So why does a why Hungarian does it have override? Name? Like, if it's both a Hungarian and an American horse together, why does it only become a Hungarian half-bred? Why does it not become an American half-bred? Because Hungarian horses are more rare than American horses? Yeah, so surely uh, it makes sense for American to be the dominating name there. No, because then it becomes more common to find a horse that's called an American half-bred instead of really a Hungarian half-bred. Are really having a horse discussion right now? I like horses. Hey, what's your name, fella? I thought you did. I'm Stephen Porter. Stephen Porter? Why have I heard that before? Uh, I was the lawyer in the Redwater case. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh. The lawyer. Did, did you do well? I don't remember how that case went. No, I, I don't remember, remember what he's on. I turned well, up for like five minutes and got wait, bored. Wait, were you the that. defense or the the, uh, the other one? I was the defense. The attack. Okay. And uh, my client Did you get him got... off? Yeah, he went, came out on parole. Didn't he like kill a bunch of people? Didn't he like, didn't he like kill like a lot of things and then like say he hates the country and he was a bastard and he like burnt down a village? Hmm. I don't know yeah, about that. So. But, you must uh... be a pretty good lawyer that have gotten him <laughs> off for all that stuff. Yeah, can we hire you? How much you cost? Uh, depends on the case. What if, allegedly, someone died? What about the time I was fucking falsely, um... Oh, that! Yeah! What the fuck? Wait, I thought that was a deer on the roof, not a man dressed as a deer. What about the time I was falsely accused by a marshal? Yeah, and then you, uh, sentenced? sue a marshal? Yeah. Yeah, explain, explain that case to him, see if he's got, like... I was inside. falsely accused as doing some gunning down people. And then I had to pay fucking bail, or whatever the fuck, and also I had to do time, and he had literally no proof. Those paid eight hundred dollars as a fine. Yeah, it's all the money I've ever had. Uh, do you have anything that can counteract their claim? I wasn't there. I don't feel like it's my my responsibility to prove. I don't have to prove God exists. We just know it's true. No, that I understand, but if it comes to a uh, court of law, uh, you know, you do need to have something that can prove you weren't there, so you can prove the other party was lying. Well, how can they prove I was there? I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it don't make sense to me that one side can just say you did a thing, and the other side says I did not, and it's like, well, why do they believe one side but not the other? This I is mean... a whole bunch of fabrication. It's bullshit. I myself am not a big fan of this whole uh, situation where you get sent to jail without due process. Yeah! I just got fined! They just capture him off the street and say, Someone saw you doing a crime, so we're gonna process you, fine you, put it on your record, and uh, ain't nothing you can do about it. What's that? You're innocent? You, you're saying you're innocent? Well, we're not gonna believe you. $800. It's bullshit. It don't make sense. Frankly, yeah. the Wild West is uh, too wild in that regard, in my opinion. Exactly. It's kind of the opposite of wild, actually. It's just rampant uh, law enforcement with too many. Uh, they just do whatever they want. Authority. You know what another word for rampant is? Wild. Got I think. you there. 
Mm, there's no the what differentiations the between the words. Fuck off! Why, why are you talking about this? How do I get my $800 back? Well, if you want to take it to a court, um... See if I can say another person's name, I'm about to walk away. No, but you will have to uh, file a uh, docket with the justice system. If you want to hear, you have your court, uh, uh, your case heard by the judge. Yeah, that makes sense. But how much like to hire you to do this? Because well, you know. uh, my base rate is fifty, and I usually charge five percent of um, you know the. I don't like percentages. I want a big payout from this. Yeah. I'm talking forty thousand dollars minimum payout for the distress this has caused me. He has got. He used to. Uh, he used to not have so many wrinkles on his face, and his hair used to yeah. be a lot brighter. Uh, I used to be blonde. Fair enough. In practice, right now, you can represent yourself in a court of law as well. Oh that my god, that's a good idea. So that you are not. Uh, you don't necessarily have to hire me, but. Uh, how are y'all? Hey, William. Yes. Oh, hey. It's more, you know, you can hire me for oh. this case for, let's say... I'd rather represent myself. Yeah. Are you, are you I can sure? give you legal counsel in your case for $20, but it'll have to be at another time. Because I All actually right, have to your, go somewhere. Uh, Steven Porter, right? Yep. What is your PO? Uh, my PO is three four six one zero. Stephen Porter, the lawyer, three four six one zero. That is correct. All right, all right. I think we will be in touch then, because uh, it, it doesn't matter how old this case is, because this happened like over a month ago. Uh, that shouldn't matter as long as you uh. You know. still bitter about it. As long as you're still I've bitter about it, yeah, I back. suppose. Do you have any money you can donate to me? He uh, is not really. I mean, if you want to see what I've had to do to save some cash. Do you not feel shame for him? Do you not say the law this system man? has done to me? The law system of which you profit has ruined me. It's a sad situation. I understand, but uh, right now I can't help you because I have somewhere else to be. Well, the bank's right over there. Yeah, but I'm not obligated to give you my money. Say, fella, uh, I just know, but it's the quick. kind thing. Don't want to hold you up too much longer, but is there like a process behind becoming a lawyer, or is it just like, you know, if you what do you be, have to do? If you want to become a. Um, Licensed lawyer? Yeah, you're gonna have to settle down for a few years of law school. No, is there a faster way? Can you summarize law school for me real quick? What about on the well, walk to the bank? If you really want to uh, Get two birds track yourself to law school without going to law school, just read the, the Book of Laws. If but you can make can sense I do it without understanding the law? Can I just become a lawyer? Can I just get money from people for just saying the shit? The Book of Laws? Um, well, technically there isn't anything stopping you, but be aware that people might, um, report you for fraud if they feel like you're not an actual lawyer. I would never commit any kind of fraud. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just saying. It can get a bit hairy if you, uh, walk around as an unlicensed lawyer and, you know... Make people hire you as a lawyer. Alright, noted. Thank you very much for your time. You should uh, invest in better shoes. You look kind of poor. I was actually going to change in my nice suit because I have a meeting with someone in Saint Denis. Alright, go put your nice suit on. I, I, I'm interested now. Alright. But will it be nice, fellas? Will it be nice? Fletcher, Jesus fucking Christ. Four out. Come 
morning, friend. Hello. It's a fancy fella. Yep. Ah, uh, looking very nice, Mr. What the hell, uh, Porter, right? Yeah. Well, I go um, enjoy your meeting thing, and uh, we'll be in touch, I'm sure, at some point. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you, but I must be off now. Take care. Likewise, take it easy. Getting a rasp. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great.
Hey, stop the horse right now. Let go of the reins, you're gonna get shot. What? Let go of the goddamn reins, you're gonna get shot, dumbass. Stop right there, Philly. I'm trying oh, to Let great. go of the reins. Get off the horse. What All can right. I do for you guys? Put your hands where I can see Put your hands where I can see him. I'm gonna get his horse, keep an eye on him. Guys, All I right. have a meeting with a client. We don't give a shit, mister. Come towards my voice. I'm a goddamn Bring him up lawyer. to the camp. Bring him up to the I camp. I said Bring come up to, to my camp. voice, mister. All Keep right. on walking. Uh, you stink as shit. Up the, up the road. Where the hell is Kyle? It's a nice coat he has. Yeah, he looks like Might a rich fella. something. That's right. Looking real fancy. Well, you gotta look fancy when you're gonna meet with high-class clients. Well, that's right. So well, that means you make some now. nice money, huh? Well, not really. Alright, mister. Why don't you come take a seat? Uh, okay. Alright. Alright. Um... Me, George, and Billy will go have a look out while y'all take his things. Make take sure everything's bad with rings, necklaces. I don't give a fuck if it's an heirloom. The rest of us will be on lookout. What's your name, Feli? I'm Stephen Porter. Stephen Porter. You some government, Feli? No, I'm an independent lawyer. Lawyer. Call yourself rich, Feli? Not particularly, no. Well, how about this? Let's start with that. Evans, you're off your back here now. Oh, uh, sure. Link. Billy? There you go. What is it? I'm uh, just making sure you're close enough to hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm down there in the floor. Let me take that from you. Here, fellas, why don't you take this? Put this somewhere. Here. So, what's the lower tab doing around these bars, huh? You said you're meeting with clients? Well, yeah. What's your client's name, boy? Uh, the current one? Silence Black. Who? Silas Black. Silas Black. Now, that's the name that rings a bell. Who he? Uh... Yes, he's the richest man in Saint Denis right now. The richest right. man in Saint Denis, huh? How much you paying, you feller? Hey, shut up a minute. Uh, where are you supposed to be meeting this Silas Black? Uh, Saint Denis, Bastille, I suppose. In the Bastille, huh? And what's no. uh, what what's Silas Black doing with a lawyer like you? How come he's uh, wanting to inquire about your services? I don't really know. He uh, slipped me a note after the Redwater case asking for my services and I was on my way to meet with him to ask what he was uh, hoping to hire me for. Jordan, you pat this man down for us? Mm. Not fully yet, just his rifle. All right, give him, uh, give him a good once over. Make sure he ain't got no six shooter attached to his hip. He got that big coat on. Um, I'm gonna just save you the effort. I have a... Um, Mouser concealed under my uh, jacket. All right, Where'd that be well, located at, son? He said under the jacket. Feel up Make his sure hips. Take the shit off his horse, too, if you got him. I mean, good idea. Check his fucking horse, too. Yeah, yeah. You, one of you is going to take care of that while I talk to this fine gentleman here, this lawyer. So, uh, you mentioned something about a rat water case, huh? Yeah. You do explain yes. what happened uh, there. Well, is well Chief uh, Red is horse? Water got uh, arrested for uh, attempted uh, murder on a couple of peace officers and that kind of stuff. Redwater, Chief, in some sort of a native town. <clears throat> yeah, he was uh, in charge of the yeah. city. Alright, alright, alright. That makes a lot of sense, huh? He, uh, one of those folks that hang around at that reservation? Yeah. I know a Redwater, he's a sorry piece of shit. Yeah, well, apparently this man, uh, what, well, you represent him in your in that case? How'd that turn out? I need out? him over there if I'm going to shake his fucking horse. All right. That ain't a problem, mister. Well, Jordan, I got Jordan. him out on parole. All right, all right, all right. So you're good at your job, huh? Yeah. 
Hey, uh, Jordan, escort the man over to his horse so uh, we can peruse his belongings. Hmm. Come on, Philly. Get we'll on up now. There. Be a good boy. You'll be on your way without no scars or bruises. This way, Philly. Ain't this one on your horse. Just wanted to find one. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like it. Right, this your horse, mister? Boy. Yep. I'm standing next to me. You ain't got no... Where you keep all your shit? You ain't got no saddlebags, son. Where are you gonna yeah, find anything? Probably under the saddle. Anything underneath that saddle? Search it up there, son. Yes, the box of repeater rounds. Yeah. Leave them with you. You can keep the. How much you pay for this nice little pistol here, Mr. Lawyer? No, Think about... I could sell it for a good penny? Uh, you can buy it at a store for about 200 $200. Ain't too look good in my holster there. Might just give it back to you. Looks like a piece of shit. Come on now, to... follow me. Oh, Learn man. Any of you fellers want one of them pistols from across the bay? I ain't really too keen on them. Might just give it back to him. Well, that man can't oh, carry oh, back there. I'm all right. You, you an idiot? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna We're sell gonna... it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. All right. Need money. Well, I so hold on. Hey, what's on, what's his name? Green. What's his name? Don't mind if I take that. Looks real nice. What uh, is his name? Ain't a clue. I just call him Lawyer Boy. Uh, what's Steve. your name, Lawyer Boy? Stephen Steve. Porter. That's it. Stephen Porter. Alright. Well, Stephen Porter, you remember this. If you read to someone, I'll come find you in the fucking night. I'll slit your throat and the fucking ones you love. Uh, I'd prefer you didn't do that, but uh, if, you, if you guys ever do need a lawyer, uh, do you want my PO number? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I like to. He knows. He knows what's up. I mean, sure, this is not, not my first Mr. robbery, so. Yeah, I can imagine it ain't dressing like that. You're gonna you make yourself a target, boy. Now listen to me. You said you had a meeting with this Mr. Silas Black, right? Yeah. What time and place you said the best deal? What time are you supposed to be meeting him, huh? Um like uh within the next two hours from one hour ago, so Jesus Christ. You, the man didn't even give you an exact time, he just told you to show up. Yep. Your store is starting to come apart. No, he really was not really descriptive in uh, when and where. All right. So, uh, you just said down in St. Dennis, huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ. He got you running all over the state for this man. I hope he's paying you well. Oh, he hasn't even paid me at all yet. Well, mister. Well, when he does, we'll be there to take our cut. <laughs> That's right. All right, mister. How about this? You get on your horse, and, uh, hmm. Yeah, you, uh, you get on that horse, you're gonna, here's what you're gonna do, right? And I got a compass in my hands, so I'm gonna be watching you. You're gonna get on that horse, you're gonna ride up north, you're gonna head towards Van Horn. Then you're gonna get to Van Horn, you're gonna go south into St. Dennis that way. You understand me? Sure. I see you crossing around these parts again, and trust me. I'll recognize you. I'm gonna cut your fucking tongue out and stick McKeady. it up your ass. Yep. Look your own ass. Mighty huh? violent. We're almost done here. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, we're, we're sending him on his way. Alright. Go to your right, horse. Do you want a PO number or not? Yeah, 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 go on now. What's that PO number? Uh my PO number is three four six one zero. Three four six one zero. All right, yep. mister, get your goddamn nag. You look at me, I ain't even put it down. Probably could sell this, turn into glue or something. Uh, that's actually a war horse. Jesus. Oh, war horse could be glue. It's a horse mm -hmm. still. Hey, that's a veteran right there. You don't disrespect a war horse. All right, mister, you get the hell out of here. Go north. And remember, right. if I see that you way. heading in any direction other than north, I will gun you down quicker than you can say sarsaparilla. You understand me? Sure thing, sir. Go on now. Get. Get, mister. 
That way. I said get. Hello. Hey, how the friend? How 
you doing? Uh, do you know if there's any law enforcement in town right now? No, I am not aware, actually. I just got into roads myself. Oh. Well, if you're gonna head out, be careful on the road uh, west. There's a couple of guys out there robbing. I appreciate that. I appreciate looking out for that. Thank you. I'm probably heading out west, actually, soon, because I need to get to uh, Valentine to meet friends, but... Maybe I'll just ride up north a little bit more. Yeah, maybe go by uh, Emerald Ranch then. All right. Well, thank you very much. Did you get a lot of stolen off of you? Yeah, I lost my weapons to them and my hat. Oh damn it! Well, hey, I'm uh, I need to go take a leak real quick. Um, but if you want, I can uh, accompany you to look for some law to help you out. Uh, I have somewhere else to be right now, but I'll uh, make sure to find some law. Oh, you can, you know, handle it your own way, I suppose. Don't need to get the law involved in everything, do we? Uh, I, it's just I have a meeting to go to, and if the law's not here, I'll just find them later. Right. All right, well, be careful, you know, talking to the law about things, uh... I don't know how dangerous people are, but where I'm from, uh, some uh, other I stuff know, could happen. I still have to report things stolen so I can get, you know, my insurance claim and everything. Oh, that's a good point. Good point. Well, uh, you be careful, all right? Thank you for the warning. Yeah, you be careful as well.
the magic word. Howdy. It has been Hello. fairly quiet. The tram service running on schedule. A passenger train just passed through on its way to Rhodes. Can I help you? Yeah, that's pretty loud. No, I just said howdy. Passing oh, okay. in the street. Oh, yeah. you got so close. I thought you needed something. Oh. No, I don't need what? nothing. Okay. Well, have a nice day then. Yeah, it is. Uh, pardon me. Uh, would you know where I can find Mr. Silas Black? Oh, he would usually be at the Bastille. If he's not there, he might not be awake yet. I do know that he comes in the later hours. Uh, if you don't find him there, he might be up in Annisburg doing some gold panning. Uh, I'll try Annisburg then. He said he'd be around right now. Well, if he said he'd be around right now, I, I think waiting at the Bastille for at least 10-15 minutes would be your best bet. Mm, I don't know, it's just like an hour and a half ago when he said that, so... Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, uh, I work at the Bastille myself, and you know, I see this happen quite often. People come around and they say, oh, I'm looking for this person, and they, they don't see that person right there right now, so they, uh go off and then like 10 minutes later that person pops in and right at the Bastille see it happen all the time just have a little patience I'm sure well I also sent him a telegram like an hour ago oh right well that's unfortunate I, I hope uh, I hope you find him soon I hope so too because I got robbed on the road here just to meet him <gasps> oh my goodness now, was it three fellas and did they take your horse no, five fellows, and they took my weapons. <gasps> well, oh my goodness. Do you have a description of them so I look out? And where where it happens so I'm on the lookout? At, well, so I avoid them, obviously. Well, well, you know that uh, little bend in the road between Rhodes and Valentine? Yeah. Yeah, it was around there. Oh my, that's, that's on the way I came. I didn't see anyone... Thankfully, oh my goodness, I would have been terrified if that happened. Yeah, I'm happy they at least didn't take my horse. Guns yeah, are I've replaceable. Been hearing, I've been hearing stories about people eating horses, if you believe it or not. It's quite terrifying, real scary. 
Well, that just ain't right. It sure yeah. ain't. I don't know how to what? describe them. They were all just plain looking and had um, masks. Uh, all black? No, like uh, they were dressed like, you know, just anybody would uh, when they were walking around the state. Right. That doesn't really make it much easier. No. Did I have any kind of special accent way of talking? Hmm, not really out of place actually for uh, the area. Right. Like it's it's like you're just being uh, it was like being robbed by five local farmhands. Like they dressed local, they sounded local. Right. Oh, that's terrifying. And no. I'll be on the lookout and uh. Uh, I just saw a chief, uh, Chief Harry from uh, the local police, but I I'm not sure if that's considered a local problem. You might want to report that with the authorities. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Saint Denis police force can really help me in that, but. Uh... Yeah, it might not be uh, what you're looking for, but they can sure point you in the right directions. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, was he going to the police station? Oh, he was just patrolling down that road towards Chinatown. Ah, okay. I'll uh, see if I can catch up to him and swing by later mm -hmm. to see if Mr. Black has uh, come by yet. That sounds like a good idea. Good luck, Mr. What's your name? Uh, Porter. Stephen Porter. Oh, Mr. Stephen Porter? I haven't seen you in so long. I think the last time we met was like a month ago. Yeah, I've been really busy uh, the last month. Oh my goodness, well, it's good to see you again. I would love to hear your piano once more. Uh, I'm sure I'll come play when I have the time. I would very much appreciate that. Alright, well, take care now. Pleasure.
Sorry. Evening. Evening. Hi, is that How you, are we Mr. Today? Oh, indeed. How are you? Oh, I was about to head off. Um, I I can't say I'm doing too great. Uh, oh. Uh, long story. Well, if you don't have the time, that's fine. Well, we were supposed to meet. Meet who? Well. You wanted to meet me? I believe so, yes. Yeah. So you do have the time? Yeah, no, I was just saying it's a long story. Not that I am in a rush to go anywhere right now. Oh, of course. Let's hear your story then. Why are things, as you say, bad? Well, um... First, I was in Valentine. Yes. Uh, just trying to get a whiskey at the new saloon there. New saloon? Uh, yeah, new one of the saloons is under new management, I think. Ah, understandable. Who owns it now? Uh, Chang Jr. and Lao Clan. Really? Interesting. Anyway, I was there and then some kind of gas just appeared in the saloon and uh, knocked me and a few other people unconscious. What? Yeah. Sounds hardly healthy. It was not at all. We had to be carried to uh, the doctor. Perhaps in the future I'll have to invest in some sort of inspector of the health for various businesses. Interesting. Yeah. And then on my way here, um, on the road from Valentine to uh, Rhodes, I got robbed by five uh, people. Oh? From here to Rhodes, you say? Yeah. No, from what do they uh, look like? Valentine to Rhodes. Valentine to Rhodes, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's the darnest thing. Um, most most gangs always have some specific outfit, but these guys just look like they were ranch hands where that just took up banditry. Ranch hands that took up banditry. Interesting. Yeah, they just looked like regular Joes. Uh, where exactly were you when this occurred? Uh, you know the sharp uh, turn between uh, roads and Flatneck Station? Mm, let me think. I believe I'm familiar with it, yes. Yeah, just about there. They uh, helped me up uh, from the bushes. And you said ranch hands, yes? And that's what they looked like. They had the What's... southern uh, accent to go with it. What's the largest ranch in that area, would you say? Uh, around there... The nearest I yes. can think of would be Emerald. Oh, good lord. Interesting. 
I suppose a little investigation will have to do into this matter. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't take off with much, but they were rather unpleasant about it. Well, I should think so. Rogues of that type are often not the most cordial of folk. Yeah. I do have to find myself some new weapons uh, after our meeting, though. But, oh uh, well, uh, do, you, do you want to sit somewhere, uh, Mr. Black? I do apologize. I'm trying to remember exactly what I wished to speak with you about. Could you jog my memory? Uh, you gave me a note about uh, wanting my uh, advice on legal matters. Mr. Porter, is that you? Yeah. You sound so different. Yeah, the gas has uh, done a number on my lungs right now. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Yes, let's have a seat up at the balcony of the Bastille, perhaps, then. Okay. I apologize for not recognizing you right away. You sound like another person entirely. Yeah. I'm not too surprised with everything that happened today. Mm, I suppose so. Although, you... I also have a cousin, uh, Clifford. Oh, do you? That might explain it, then. I'm yeah. terrible with names, faces, voices, posture, the way people walk, walk and various different intricacies of the fellows. Bonjour. Yeah. Clifford sounds a bit more British, I suppose. Hmm. I can hardly keep things straight these days. Oh, too much going on, too little time. Uh, yeah. So we haven't spoken before then, have we, Mr. Porter? We have uh, seen each other in passing in one point, but that's about it. All right, that makes more sense then. I was rather confused. I thought I'd been telegramming a different Mr. Porter, but I believe you're the man I'm looking for. So, how's your legal firm doing? Much work these days? Um, it's been still rather calm, but... Uh... The Ratwater case did take up uh, nearly a month of my time. Hmm, I see. Well, I would be interested in perhaps purchasing some of your services. I have a few interesting little cases. Oh? Seems as if people don't take things as seriously as they might, but I've been accosted of being fraudulent in several regards, and I was also taken to... Well, not taken, but I went to Forest Wallace in order to... What's the word? Clear my good name. Apparently I had a $2,500 bounty at one point. Oh. Yes. I believe they tried to charge me with fraud. Two other things, but they were dropped. I'll have to take a look at my notes to remember what they were. But suffice it to say, I'm rather unhappy with the entire situation, and I'd like to discuss litigation with you. Um, we can certainly do that. I believe I was tried unfairly, and I would like my money back, and perhaps a little on top for my troubles. Uh, we can certainly do that. Um, you want to take it up to criminal court or civil court? Hmm. What would you suggest? I was sued for, or not sued, but I was fined for fraud. I was accosted of a number of other things. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. What it was. Ugh. Um, oh wait, in this state, uh, it has to go through criminal court because it is in regards to something you have been charged with. Yes, there was a misunderstanding. Essentially, I wanted to speak to someone and I were offered to pay another person $300 in order to send them my way or bring them over to me and they misinterpreted that as abduct the person. Oh. Yes, and then things got out of hand rumors wise and Suffice it to say, it's essentially hearsay as far as I'm concerned. I just wanted to have a chat with the man. Yeah, uh, unfortunate uh, turn of events, it sounds like. Yes, and more recently, Mr. Woody approached me and told me that someone had put a hit on his head and people were saying that it was me who had done it. Again, merely hearsay as far as I'm concerned. I have no interest in Valentine or the people of it. 
But he said he heard it from several sources, and I wanted to know who these people were so that I might speak with them, and he refused to answer, which I suppose is understandable, but I would like to find these people who have been spreading these rumors and bring them to court as well, if possible. Um, yeah, we can sure bring it up. Um... I have some private investigators on the matter, but I haven't heard from them in a good two or three days now. I feel like people are far too quick to forget slights against them in this city. Well, I'm not. I can assure you. Yeah. Maybe they're, um, still busy investigating right now. Oh, it very well could be. I wouldn't expect results too quickly, of course. What do you think, though? Has anyone tried to sue anyone through you so far in your offices? Um, one person has, but it has been kind of difficult considering uh, the person he wants to sue has uh, not been seen for a while. Who would that be? Uh, Lenny Large. Mr. Porter. Client attorney privileges. Why would you tell me that? Don't you agree? Mm, in this case, I'm just kind of worried that I might have to file a missing person report. I see. Hmm. I'm not going to go into the details as to what is going on, but... It's kind of hard to just speak to a man to see if it can be settled outside of court, um, if the man hasn't been seen for so long. I would say so, but I would hope that in your dealings with me, you would keep my name off of your lips unless absolutely required. I certainly do so most of the time, yeah. Of course. Assuming you don't send me on a uh, two-month hunt to find someone who hasn't been around for a month, but... Uh... Oh, I see. Well, there you are then. Hmm. Yes, I am rather vested in getting an expungement on this charge of fraud. I see it being very detrimental to my good name, which I've been trying to cure. Yeah, I remember seeing uh, posters around town. Mm, that's a little different in my eyes. That's just mere hearsay, but this is a legal matter at the federal yeah. level. I can't have that. Well, let me know if there's anything you can do for me in this matter, whenever you decide to, and we'll talk about payment. Yeah, I need to, um, just make a few mental notes. Hey, come of course. here. You gotta roll. Give me just a moment. You gotta roll. Come here. Mm. Oh, it's up. Okay. All right. You'll excuse me for just a moment, Mr. Porter. I'm going to step inside. Sure. I'll be back.
Um, I do have one more question, Mr. Black. Certainly. Um, on what grounds were they charging you for fraud? Only the... Honestly, I think it would behoove the two of us to have a sit down with some law enforcement and go over the case file. I honestly can't remember all the details. This was a few weeks back now. And ah. I can't seem to find my notebook on the matter. I see. Yeah. Because it sounds kind of strange to be charged with fraud for um, a miscommunication. As, uh... Well, the whole scenario was rather strange. They were trying to charge me with three separate crimes. They dropped two of them and told me they, quote, had to have at least something. Or something of the sort. They said they couldn't let me f go without something occurring on the matter. I find ridiculous. I asked Sounds for a judge. Strange, yeah. And they said I'd have to make an appointment, that sort of thing. But I would like to pursue this matter. I find this sort of hearsay completely unacceptable in this civilized land we have here in Lemoyne. Yeah. Um, I can certainly help you with this case. Excellent. Um, we will definitely have to uh, get in contact with the marshal service to... Uh... I believe Scully. Are you familiar with her? Uh, I believe she handled um, the Redwater case as well, yeah. Yes, that's the one that I spoke to. Um, you wouldn't happen to have her PO number, would you? Oh, let me see. I believe she declined to give it to me, as far as I recall. Uh. Mm, or perhaps I didn't ask at the time. I was rather irate. I don't remember. Uh, fair enough. I'll just, um... Just have to make sure that I'll uh, get in contact with the Marshal Service then. Get, um... With your permission, of course, get them to forward, uh... The specifics of the bounty. Yes, I would very much appreciate that. I didn't even know I had a bounty for over a week. No one approached me at all. I could have lost my life during that time. Yeah, exactly. Seems kind of reckless to put a bounty on someone instead of just first approaching them. I sent several telegrams to, I believe, Mr. Reeker and didn't receive a single response while my life was in danger. Can you believe that? Yeah, uh, I believe Mr. Reeker has, uh... He's been out of state for a while. Oh, yes. At the time, he was the marshal here in Saint-Denis for a brief stint. Uh. But if you're able to arrange a meeting between you, me, and the marshals, and they're able to forward you the details, that would be perfectly acceptable. Yeah. At least then we will have all the, uh, shall we say, building blocks to... Uh, you know, foul case and go through a case. Yes, I'm in no rush to do this shoddily. I much prefer to take my time and make sure things are well curated before going forwards. Yeah, and uh, by the time you feel confident in making it a case, um, just make sure that you sign a docket with uh, the court. Yes, indeed. We'll have to discuss that matter a little down in the future, but very good, Mr. Porter. Any other questions for me? Um, the only other question, uh, well, it's not really a question, but it's more, um, you didn't plead uh, guilty to this uh, fraud charge at all, have you? I don't believe I would have in the slightest. I'm not guilty. Okay, good. It's just, uh, it's a bit easier to work uh, oh, if course, someone yes. hasn't admitted to something. No, I admitted to nothing, nor did I, what's the word, perpetrate any crime. I want my $1,500 back and more on top of that. Plus, with my life being in danger, the libel, the slander, the distraught I've been through. Bah. Bah. Well, then, if there's nothing else, Mr. Porter, I suppose I should check in with my officers. Yep. Could you do me a favor, by the way? Uh, what can I do for you? I have a little contract I was... Sent many weeks back. I'd like you to look over it for me if you have the time. Uh, sure, if you can send it by courier to my um, mailbox, that uh, then I can take a look at it and uh, get it back to you as soon as possible. Well, I don't wish to overwork you, though. Is there something you might be interested in? 
Uh, no, it will be alright. Uh, checking contracts is uh, really easy, actually. Alright, I'll see what I can do within the next day or so, if that's alright. Sure, I'll uh, just see it appear in my mailbox when it is ready. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate your punctuality, Mr. Porter. Apologies for the delay on my part. Yeah, kind of ironic since I was delayed because of a robbery. There you are, then. Well, take care now. I suppose I'm going to go get some work done. Yep, I uh, guess I'll go find a gun and go home. Hmm, stay safe now. Best regards to you. Yeah, good day, sir. I'm struggling right now. Here. Morning.
Good morning.
Hello. Sorry, has anybody seen Miss Celine? No, she's no, not recently. Some other lawmen looking for stuff, looking into stuff. Uh, who are you, uh, by the way? Have you met? Uh, I'm not sure. Stephen Porter. Oh, you're the infamous defense attorney for Redwater. Yeah. How the hell did you manage that fucking miracle? Making a very good deal with, uh, you know, the attorney. Oh, please elaborate. Well, let's say the attorney general approached us with the possibility of a plea deal, and we took it. Okay. Essentially Fair means he's, uh, he's out on parole right now. And he pled guilty on a lot of charges. Huh. Okay. I'd be mad for right now, Mr. Put up there are some rough characters about. Oh yeah, I know. I've been robbed uh, on the road uh, earlier. Oh. How, ma how many robbed you? What? How many people robbed you? Like five of them. Were they wearing red bandanas? Uh, some of them were. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, well, stay here then. Yeah. Oh. S stay with us and keep making small talk. Oh, how come? Other people got robbed as well? We're yeah. keeping an eye on the suspects while a sheriff gets a couple of marshals together. Oh, they're around? Yeah. Mm. They're in the saloon. And uh, it might devolve into a shootout if the lawmen get here in time. So, be mindful of that too. Oh. I was in the saloon earlier and it looked abandoned. No, the, uh, see the one just down the road? The Keen Oh, saloon. that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's called the Clam now. Yep. All by my friend Lyle Clam Biscuit. Oh, yeah. How was doing? Junior, so, uh. I was doing okay, for what I know. Yeah, if you, uh, do wait around, hopefully the. Law will be here soon, and you'll be able to provide uh, witness testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, getting much work as a defense attorney. Uh, I mean, have you seen the criminals in this in the second front here? There probably is. I mean, it does trickle in, bit by bit. Any 
any recent high profile clients like the chief or is that a thing of client confidentiality that you can't share uh nothing on the level of uh, chief Rightwater, no that might change soon but um yeah. if the people in that saloon are the ones that robbed me i can't even represent them true can't represent people you're witnessing in uh, the case uh-huh. Mm. It's a lot of horses that they refuse to stable. Yeah. See anything interesting? Yeah, it's just Lyle and uh, Wendigo coming back. Well, apparently, uh, by the way, uh, Frankie wants to get me a girlfriend because apparently people are very concerned for her that uh, the whole adopted daughter thing is some kind of weird kink. What the fuck? What? Why, why do people make it constantly fucking weird? I don't fucking know. I mean... It's not too surprising, considering there's also some people that um, call each other step mommy and then get walked over each other. Oh god, you met Sonya and Amelie, haven't you? <laughs> I'm not sure who I met, but they were very. Um... Was one a blind man? Was one a, 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 a very beautiful brunette woman? Uh, no, I, the woman was blonde and the guy had black hair. Oh god, that, that might have been even Nathan then. Oh dear. So many degenerate couples in this goddamn frontier. I did it in front of six people in the Bastille balcony as well. Oh, it was even Nathan. I keep, no, I, I, I keep calling it George or somebody else. God damn it, so many degens in this goddamn frontier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the obsession with assuming that a man and a woman in each other's company are in some sort of relationship is... It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, as the young kids are saying right now, pretty cringe. Mm -hmm. I think that might be a bit too modern, but I get what you mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Couldn't resist. But I do, I do physically cringe when I hear talk of it, though. So. Yeah. I. I just don't understand why people find it that it's their business in the first place. That's also a good point. So as long as it's nothing illegal, you know, it's yeah, those people's business. Yeah. And even if it is uh, illegal, well then, uh, there's the law. Howdy. Good day. Yeah, I... Mm. Strawberry is not that far, what's taking them so long? Maybe they got hold you know what up. By like. what? No, there's plenty of wolves around there. Woody changing into his uh, law enforcement t-shirt. You know, fashion stuff. Maybe they're hunting for the marshals right now. 
Where's fuck is Sony actually? Wasn't he supposed to be in Valentine? Who? A friend of ours. Yeah, he might have. Uh... Oh, he might have gone to Fort Wallace actually. Actually, yeah, I think the last thing that North taught him to do was to find marshals. So actually, he he's no, he would probably be he would with. Be. Yeah. So what the fuck is that? Aren't they here? Yeah. At, far... at, at, at full gallop, it takes no time to get the strawberry from here. I kind of want to find out who was saying it so I can point at them and call them perverts and degenerates. I'd call them perverts. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put an article in them, in the paper about them. Call them degenerate scum. Oh, that's one of them gone. Mm -hmm. Or just moving his horse. I just moving his horse. Yeah, it looks like he's moving his horse. I, I, I bet my life savings are nothing I'm gonna cling to here after they're already long gone. I mean, yeah. It's been the second time I've been in, at the scene where the, where the culprits were right there, and there was some decent proof, and then Law just was like, ah. And it's like, alright, cool, well, fuck justice, I guess. I don't know, I feel like it would have been beneficial if they had more of those, uh, what you call it, telephone lines to between the police and stuff. Probably. Mm. Oh shit, let's check our telegrams. Uh, you wait here, I'll go check. Alright. Are uh, Mr. Cheng and uh, Clan Biscuit aware that they're uh, servicing? Uh... They probably don't give a shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just don't want them to end up in a hostage situation or something. That's true. But I've seen Mr. Lyle, Mr. Wendigo, and Mr. Chang walk out in and out freely, so I don't think they're under any duress. Not right now, no, but uh, the moment they, uh, you know, criminals feel cornered, they might do weird things. Can't do much about that. Yeah. Can just hope for the best. Come back, I'm gonna go check my telegrams. Cause North might send it to me if he doesn't get any. Yeah, it's smart to go uh, one by one. How long ago did they leave? It's been a while. And if I'm both north 
and the marshals and Sonya headed towards the shop where they should have all been there by now. Yeah. That really is odd, unless something bigger showed up. Doubt it. Oh, he's running. Any news then? Nah, nothing yet. I sent him a uh, telegram though, letting him know that they're here. And that we have another uh, witness. I'm going to sloop around and I'm going to sprint full tilt to see if they send me anything. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm just going to hitch my horse. So, um, whereabouts were you when they, they robbed you? I was on the road between, uh, Flatneck Station and Rhodes. You know that, uh, little bend there by the lake? Uh, yep. Yeah, thereabouts they, uh, Rob me. And uh, do you mind me asking? Yeah, do you mind me asking uh, what they took from you? Okay, I yeah, they took my guns. Uh, what kind of guns are? Uh, something like you know a Mauser and uh, Evans repeater. They're walking towards us. Howdy, howdy, how we doing? Alright. Clint and Liam. We. you? How was big? How was big? Looks good, about. we didn't see anything major. Mm-hmm. That's them. Just a few pronghorns and whatnot. That group is them. Right, I'm gonna go send a telegram, I'll be back. This gentleman here, by the way, he was also robbed by them between Flatneck and Rhodes. And you know for certain that they're the same people, mister? I don't know, I just said I was robbed by five people and these guys told me to wait here. We asked you, actually, details of your robbery. You said five people, you said, we asked you that red bandanas, you said yes, didn't you? Or, yeah, or, some or, of them, yeah. Yeah, let's wait for the marsh to get back here. Can I ask what they robbed you of? Uh, they took my my gun and my rifle. What kind of guns were they? A Mauser and an Evans. A Mauser and an Evans, sorry. What the fuck? Who the hell is that asshole running around? This looks just black. Just make sure y'all are talking low. I am. Mm -hmm. A Mauser and an Evans, okay. So, uh, when Liam and I arrived in Valentine, uh, so that group, they were a group of seven walking up the road from the stables. Uh, they congregated in front of the church for a few minutes, then moved into Keene's saloon. Interesting. Makes me wonder if they have any affiliations with Mark Clan Biscuit. Okay. Cheng Jr. is in the, the saloon right now, also. 
Woody. Yeah. This man here was robbed, deprived of a Mauser and an Evans by five gentlemen. By Who? This gentleman here. Me. This gentleman Which in gray. One? Step over here with me, sir. And it was up for sale, and there's people, there was loads of people inside of it, so I think someone bought it. That's what I was trying to say to you. I'm gonna check it out. Oh my... Hello, Woody. Howdy, howdy. What's your name, sir? Uh, Stephen Porter. Howdy. Oh, is that Nor? Uh, yes, ma'am. Just, uh... Howdy, howdy, howdy. What's your PO number? My PO number is uh three four six one zero. What's your name? Uh Steven Porter. And who were you robbed by? They're uh, moving off to the stables. I don't really know who they were. How many of them was there? Uh, when they initially robbed me, there were five of them. A sixth one appeared later. Some of them had red bandanas, some had grey. They all kind of just looked like, you know, regular people you'd find around roads. And what did they rob him? How heavy? They took uh, my hat, my Evans repeater, and my Mauser pistol. That's it. Yeah. Did they have any names? Did they say anything? No. Did they hurt they... you in any way, shape, or form? And they did threaten that they would come after me or my family. And that they would cut out my tongue if they ever saw me again. And they said something about turning my horse into glue. Sound like a lovely band of individuals. That's all? Uh, that's about it, yeah. They all. They didn't kept... call each other a name, they didn't say any names, nothing like that? No, they uh, seemed quite professional in their um, stick up. I'm gonna see if Fletcher is in town. He said he would be here. Alright, thank you. Alright. I have no doubt he's probably tr again. Yeah, I mean, I there's, a good him. Yeah, I mean there's a good chance that he's ch he just went and said he's gonna hunt him down himself. He's a damn fool.
that's tea pooling. I'm just gonna tell it there. You two, go back to Blackwater. I'm gonna fill up Woody for the time being. Uh, oh, if you guys are going to Blackwater, I'd like to come with. Yeah, jump on. Don't really want to go out alone right now. That's completely understandable. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'll take my shortcut. Follow along the coastline as well, just so we're not passing through rigs. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's fastest anyway. Also, avoids the raw, uh, the wolves. Mm. I forgot about shotgun ammo. God damn it, we're just in Valentine. I'll get some later. My strong by tumble we pick up myself. Yeah, I probably need to do a bit of an ammo resupply as well. I like to uh keep a box or two spare on my horse, just tuck uh -huh. them in my saddlebags. Bunch of repeater ammo, my horse. Fill ammo, but I don't use revolvers anymore. No shotgun. You need to pick some of that up. Wait, you use a semi automatic pistol? Yep. For me? Yeah. Well, it's a mouser, but yeah, same principle. I use a volcanic. Uh, yeah, of course. I, uh, I keep forgetting that they rechain with the volcanic with the, the pistol rounds. Yep. Pistol. Yeah. Yep.
All right, so I'm, uh, I apologize, but we're going to get a little bit wet on this next part. But, uh, awesome. better than being robbed a second time. Yeah. They didn't hurt you or anything like that while they were robbing you? Um, they did shoot at me when my horse didn't go fast enough uh, after the robbery. Uh. But besides that and threats, nothing major, no. Thanks for the ride. Mm. Uh, Miss Birdie should be in her saloon if you want to head that way and uh, uh, she, you know, get yourself some something to eat or whiskey to calm the nerves. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go there and then uh, go to sleep. It's understandable. Yeah. I hope they catch that gang, though. Yeah, I think, uh... We def definitely have a good description of them. And I'll be honest, from what I saw tonight, they don't seem to be too careful about their business. Yeah. It's gonna, uh, go change while I have the opportunity. And Miss Birdie just ran off. Yeah. Let's see if I can launch some mention. Uh, I'm gonna fill some ammo off of.
There. Hello. Mind if I join you? Not at all. Well, I, I do have to concede to the lady. Wait, what did he say? I don't think he's in here. I think he wants to join. Just like to assert our dominance at times. Exactly. Sometimes it's just a little more comfortable, sometimes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jake. Good gracious. Well, fellow, uh, I am, my name is Val. Uh, who may I say are you? I'm Stephen Porter. Hi, Stephen. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Porter. The name's B. B. Kiddo. Oh, pleasure to meet you both. Are you a local here of uh, Blackwater? Uh, yeah, I've been living here for a month now, so I guess you can call me a local. To Blackwater? You mainly stick to these parts? Yeah. I used to live in Saint Denis, but. Uh, the city is a bit too, um, what should we say, noisy. Oh, all right. Sure, it can be quite noisy and I have to get away myself sometimes. Yeah. And in my profession, I need um, the ability to concentrate. And may I ask, what profession is that? I'm a lawyer by trade. Oh, wow. Excellent. I think it takes lots of school to do a bunch of that. Yeah, seven years of law school and apprenticing for someone. Well, that's excellent. I've always loved uh, the sort of philosophy behind being a lawyer. You gotta be able to think from both sides of the case, if you will. Yeah, sometimes you have to play um, the devil's advocate in that sense. That's right. Mm -hmm. Which is always good, you know. There's this quote by this Greek philosopher that always interests me. It said, uh, pay attention to your enemies, for they are the first to see your mistakes. And I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with playing devil's advocate. If you have the ability put aside your personal biases or whichever side you may be arguing for and see it from the other side, uh, I think it helps give you a sort of bird's eye view, if you would. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. It's quite in line with uh, what my job is. I spent the past month uh, working on the red water case. Oh, right. I was uh, there in the... Uh, is there a special name for that in the court? The audience? Uh, yeah, that's just uh, the audience, yeah. Well, I'd say you did some excellent lawyering. Yeah. In the courtroom, it doesn't really show, but a lot of it was um, 
getting all the information, documents, and read them all through. Corroborate stories, all that stuff. It kind of felt like I was more of a personal investigator than a lawyer, but... Love that's you. that's frontier law help? for you. With that, uh, myself and my partner tend to do some of that. Mr. Conway, I don't know if you've heard of him. Uh, I can't say that I have. No. All right. Well, uh, we investigate things. PIs, private detective. I tend to be an existential detective, but we take it any kind of case that needs some looking into. Oh, okay. I guess, um... Business should be good then, because I know there's a couple of people in the state that, uh... Have, uh, a need for private investigators. Mm-hmm. We have a couple cases we're working on right now. Alright. Well, sounds like uh, business is uh, rolling for you guys. It sure is. Well, I frighten y'all if I uh, <coughs> clean my uh, pistol here. So long as it ain't loaded. No, it, it ain't. You know what? I actually don't like that because it's pointed right at you. And even though it's unloaded, I just don't think it's right. Hold on. Sure, that is one of the first rules of gun safety. Yep. Only pointed at something you intend to destroy. Dominance. When I was a little girl and the first time someone handed me a gun, I accidentally was, I mean, because it was quite the gun, it was a big one, if you would, and I made the mistake of being like, wow, and <laughs> pointing it right at them, even though it was unloaded, it, I still felt like a real asshole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, my, uh, got taught by a, uh, veteran from the U.S. Army. Well, I reckon those are some of the best people to teach you about it. In some cases, yeah. It did not take much to the yelling, though. Sometimes you need that yelling to get the appropriate amount of fear into you about it. Well, yeah, but I was there to, uh, you know, he was hired to teach me how to use guns, not how to be a soldier. Well, after what they've seen, I think it's hard for him to leave it behind sometimes, you know. I bet I so, yeah. I can't imagine that myself. I've never actually aimed my pistol at anyone, so I've always been. My, my dad told me once when he gave, he actually gave me my first pistol when I was like 16. He said, "Don't ever point your gun at someone unless you're ready to take their life." And I'm like, I, I sat there and thought about that, and that's you know, a pretty mm -hmm. strong hey. statement. Heavy, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. I have pointed my gun at a person only one time. But that was also one of the most shifty-eyed fellows I've ever come across who was constantly uh, threatening me. Really threatening you? Who could be doing that willy-nilly like? It's yeah. quite concerning. He changed his tune to um, screaming and running away the moment I pulled out my gun. Well, that's good to hear. I haven't seen that fellow ever since, though. Well, being so um, abrasive of a person, if you will, mm, probably got himself into some trouble. He did trouble seem like the type for that, from. yeah. 
I mean, he was threatening me in front of a uh, pastor, a French immigrant, and the gun store owner we were in, so... I reckon that did not make the gun store owner too happy. Not at all, no. Have any of y'all traveled out west to like tumbleweed or anything like that? I've, I'm kind of sketchy about going out there. I don't know if there's any gangsters or anyone who might try and rob rob me if I was to go out and just take a look around town. You know. Uh... That wouldn't be what I was worried about right now if I was you. Really? All right. Yeah, there's that would some. That actually uh, be the least of your worries. There's strange things going on around Armadillo, so. Uh, if you yeah, don't, I've heard about Armadillo. If you don't have a stomach for it, you should avoid that. But generally, well, every time I've gone out west, um, I don't know. Being in New Austin has made me feel the safest I've ever been. There's barely any people around, and the people that are there are just happy enough to just talk to someone. Interesting. I kind of like to explore a little bit here and there. I might go out there just to see what it's all about. Well, if you do, I reckon I should warn you about what you'd be seeing. Do tell. In Armadillo, I've heard about these skeletons. So, but I don't know about anything out in Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed oh. doesn't really have that sort of thing going on, but it's Tumbleweed. It's kind of disconnected from the rest of the state in a sense, if you will, with all the Armadillo things going on. That's good to know. You plan to be traveling through my armadillo on your way? I don't know. I, I heard about the skeleton. I don't know if I believe it or not. Have you Have you all seen it? I haven't seen skeletons, but I've seen a woman the size uh, of a three-story building yeah, a few weeks ago. So, A woman? Yeah. Then a woman the size of a beer bottle um, chased after... I think it was the sheriff at the time, with a knife. I gotta say that sounds a little amusing even though it's a knife was involved. It was a weird situation, but there were 20 people there and we all saw it, so... Oh, I don't doubt it, I'm just saying. How about you, Ms. B? What have you seen? I don't, you don't mind me asking. Well... If you don't doubt what he's saying, I guess I'm a little bit more comfortable. Uh, sort of hard to say, if you will. You think people are gonna think you're crazy. <clears throat> well, some of the things I've seen, I, I would go right along with it. It wouldn't shock me at all. The only thing that's uh, a little bit crazy to me is folks knowing that there's these things by that are down there and they just run in there haphazardly not knowing like not even considering what is going on there uh so crazy as this is gonna sound there's this evil and the one that's directing it goes by the name of Azanoth he wants to raise up an army of the dead oh, you're on the oh my god first and uh, his intention is to destroy everything out of existence obliterate it completely and um it all started there in Armadillo, people of the town fell terribly ill with cholera. And uh, there just so happens to be a 
concentration of dead out there. Right, and, I've uh, seen those posters. Ever since uh, this Azanel came about, I feel like uh, he's been preparing his army. Um, when you go down to Armadillo, you'll see all sorts of strange things happening. Like um, Mr. Porter over here said, yeah, tall beings, huge giants. Um, you'll see skeletons with two heads running around. Gas is clouds of death that knock people out. You'll see. Pianists playing by themselves. Being people just getting strangled as if out of nowhere or being punched. And, uh. Wow, good God. Bears the size of houses almost. attacking Fort Wallace. That happened I must too. say it's like a hell on earth down there. And, uh, last night some things went down there that uh, I don't know how to explain except for the fact that the cloud of darkness hangs around that town and clouds people's judgments about things. Um, well, I, I don't want to, it sound, kind of sounds like you're getting upset. I definitely don't want to upset you, but it, at the same time, it also looks like a place I don't definitely don't need to go visiting. I'm not upset about it. I mean, I am upset about what this fella as enough wants to do, but uh, right. let's just say uh, that he has a uh, sister. Good night. Oh. Good oh, night, hello, Miss Birdie. Birdie. Howdy. Howdy. You headed off to bed? How are y'all doing? Yeah, I am. Right. All right. Oh, I was wondering if you had some botanical water. I could ma make you one before I go, I guess. Oh, that would be so kind of you. I've had a rough day. <laughs> I would love some. Aw. Okay, let me get one. So that's Miss Birdie. I've never met her before. Mm -hmm. Real nice. Yes. Yeah. What is it? Oh, it's just oh running over God. everyone. What it's the not. hell? Oh God! You're on your way. What the hell? I'm just. <laughs> I'm trying to Dear make Lord. this man a fizzy water. Ah, she's downstairs. I knew that. What I totally hell? knew that. What the hell here? Sorry, get off of me. It'll be five dollars, but tips are appreciated. Well, already, uh, here's some fifteen. All right, thank you. Ash, why are we running in here like that? Uh, good night. Uh, you destroy half the saloon to say it's good night to someone? I, I didn't. Um, I may have knocked over a few chairs. I was. <laughs> You knocked Sophia over told two me to people. Run. <laughs> I did. Walked yeah. over several people in chairs. <laughs> you just, you just ran through the, the, the saloon. <laughs> you full <laughs> editors. <laughs> well, um, good night. <laughs> good night. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll uh, I can pick up Jess. Is it What's snowing? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's no. okay. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? No. I'm trying to go to sleep. It's snowing. Cool. I don't know. Oh. Oh, what? what? Is it snowing? Oh dear, it's happening again.
that you might want to put your shoes on. Yes. No, I don't think so. One second. Been snowing the last week or so. It's just the weather, I guess. Just the weather. Weather, but in these parts. Uh, maybe, maybe. Never seen snow like this. This is bullshit. Well, that's one word for it. I wonder if she's not gone. Did you say he? Why well, am about to go check that damn shack again? I told myself I wasn't going to top that mountain, and I mean it. Why? Mm, it's tempting, though, isn't it? Hmm? I really thought I'd try and get a few hours sleep, though. Fuck. Get some fucking sleep, idiot. I'm... Did you not sleep today? I mean, I did. I haven't been up all that long. I just... So you're sleeping again? Well, you know, days are weird. So you're sleeping again, right? Yeah, of course. Like, for a little bit, at least. Well, why? Why? Usually you haven't for the last week, right? What's her name? The one with the rope? Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty seeing shit, sorry, so... so sorry. Sophia, okay. Huh? Oh, Z. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Did I actually knock over the side in your eyes, buddy? Because I know I knocked it over in mine. It's uh, no, no, it's, it's fine. fine. Uh, okay. Wait, so you have to be awake when you usually aren't? Oh, now are they fighting again? I think they're fighting again. Ooh. Two in the afternoon. Those two. Oh, they weren't fighting before. Oh, okay. They were just having a discussion. No. Oh, is that so someone you, else? That oh. was someone else. Sorry, I gotta lower my voice. <laughs> yeah, that usually helps. You're not gonna have time to sleep after this because you have to go do something mysterious like you always do. Hmm. Right. So these few hours of sleep. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. I don't believe you're going to. I know it's snowing. But I need to go to sleep too. <sighs> Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah, I mean, it could snow, right? It's a fall. It's about two months too early for Christmas. I mean, it's just, it's just, no. it's just I a, mean, we've had some know, storms the recently. The weather's doing weird stuff. It's just, yeah, the weather's just odd things. Mm. The only time I've known it to snow recently is when that witch is, what is it? around. Yeah, I, I agree. That's what I've heard really others say too. Yeah. Did y'all participate in any of those games? I heard she was putting on some games or something. I mean, whose fault you lost is two that? Horses. Wait, two horses? Well, no. I've been observing them. Oh. All except uh, last night. And i um, kind of glad my train was late. Well, you should stop there. trying yeah. to take that bloody shortcut that's clearly a death trap. You just shouldn't take it. There's a reason it's not a path. Yeah, I didn't want to participate in any witchy things myself. That, it just didn't seem right. not a reason. It... Yeah. Some point, I'll buddy, I will show you mm -hmm. some of the interesting places that we ended up seeing. If I'm not fucking right. dead at the end of this. Well, I guess let's hope. Or he will be dead. Ashes, ashes to ashes. ashes. To yeah. Yeah. Well, if I well, am, we'll Sophia, you, you got to take her up to see some of them nice places, like that carving in the rock and 
in the trees. I... Okay, I bent over, I waxed you with my bum, and you just mild kind snow, of... Actually. How is that possible? It doesn't have uh, much bum to begin with. There was a there was a chest I had to bend down to get something from it, and she was right there on the platform, and... Uh, uh, I know. <laughs> I I was so in shock when I just looked down and she's like tumbling down the mountain. I thought she was fucking dead. Oh. I mean, I've, fall I've fallen off a cliff before. Down the hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. You, you are. It was a long way yeah. down. You... You didn't, did you? I mean, I know I crashed horses twice. But did you win? Oh, so you didn't win. This is crazy. It's oh. like I'm only hearing half a conversation. She's the winner in my eyes. <laughs> she, she, did, she was the best person. If that hadn't have been some weird trick, and the witch wasn't able to bring people back. Frankie... Frankie was the only fucking one not to do it. I know... And that's... Yeah, I'm fucking proud of you. Well, I don't know. When I saw the Reverend the other day, I mean, I was kind of tempted, because they were... Riding. Cause they were, he was stabbing them, and then they got right back up. Fine as. Hmm. But there was a, a lion, and then one moment it wasn't a lion; it was a wolf, and then yeah, it was a wolf. bird. That's what I've been saying this whole time so how is all that witch stuff real but then the, the reverend is a magician i didn't Wait know i didn't know north is uh calling a town hall in the uh theater yeah, give me some water you ain't going to sleep i need to go to sleep what is this about okay. oh, oh my god i gotta go this is about the snow to a town, what is town about? meeting in the I town meeting in the theater I'm going watch I'm out watch out <laughs> What the hell? Well, it's my bedtime. I gotta know. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to October. <sighs> Might be How related do I to that have to be going awake around. At four o'clock in the morning. Oh. Seven steps to stopping a gunshot wound. Oh, no, it is. It is something. It is something. Is this a medical that. lecture? <laughs> but. No, I don't no, know, last no, time we no. all came in here, North got shot, so let's try not to have that happen again, eh? Yes. Oh, I was there too, but that was much earlier, wasn't it? They are, but don't so sit on them. They're too fancy to sit on. Depends on the day. Come over here, Graven. Oh, really? Depends on the day, huh? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It seems like today you can't. <sighs> uh, looks like these chairs are moody. Yeah, they're not for sitting, apparently. They're just for show. Oh, 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 oh whoa! Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I didn't know I annoyed you so much in our travels. No, no, you yeah, didn't. Yeah, I'm not knocking you off a mountain. Lean on this chair. Okay. That uh, works. Ooh. Why the hell do you have fire inside the? Sorry. Oh. How do you do that? that? Accident. No, no, no. That was an accident. No, no. How'd you do that? What do you mean, how did I do that? Uh, the fire I, I have, and flame. I have a torch gifted by a demon. Oh, it's a demon item. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a demonic torch. One? All right, I, I think I'll just stick yeah, with my lantern. Thank you. I totally did. You, you did? They're demon shh, torches. Shh, shh, shh. Hmm. Telling people I got it from a demon. That's what he told me. He said he was giving... I, I'm dead. You whispered Cheers. really loud, by the way. You copy me. I'm not cheating here. No, you copy me. Fun with my toys. And you're I leaning real first. close. Okay, well, I was enough. leaning here first. No, I was leaning here first. No, I was. I'm... <laughs> Sheriff, we didn't do it. 
Well, that's guilty of sin. Oh, well. God damn it, Draven. All right, listen up, folks. Listen up. I'll make this quick. I just want to inform you. We have a bit of a band of bandits going around. Wrong people, as I'm sure you are aware. There's about seven of them, as far as we know. We're still trying to collect information on them, and we are cooperating with the United States Marshal Service. As I've been informed, this is happening around the same area that the Riggs Riders have done it. We do not believe that they are affiliated with these individuals, but like I said, we're still investigating. We're still trying to work out the details. We believe that these individuals might be associated with the Bollard Gang. And they might be, uh, you might recognize them from a distinct red bandana they tend to wear. I encourage you all to act very defensively when it comes to this. You know, just make sure if you're going out of town, ride in groups, don't go out at night, and be careful on areas that are known ambush points. Right? So uh, the Dakota River, uh, areas like uh, that little river crossing down McFarland Ranch, I'm sure you all know with the little cliff sign. These individuals have been known to operate uh, from Saint Denis, Valentine, and Rhodes. They're excuse me, Sunny Valentine, Rhodes, and um, Blackwater. They're very dangerous, and very hostile. They've been known to shoot people. Like I said, ride in groups, act offensively, but please, please, please do not go out in mobs and try to take them on yourself. Because this can put you in danger and our jobs on capturing them a lot harder. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you Understood. very much. Do you have any uh, descriptors, horses, clothes, other than the... Do they all wear the same color bandana? Is Do they have different outfits? Are they all black and red? Or do you know anything else? They don't tend to wear distinct black and red colors. Uh, as far as I know, the main defining feature is the red bandana. Uh, beyond that, they tend to wear, you know, your usual browns. Uh, they tend to ride on brown horses. Uh, we did see them on the road. There was about seven of them, but didn't really get a good chance to look at them. Okay, so they don't but wear I... uniform. They, like, there isn't, like, a set uniform for them other than the red bandana. Not as far as I can tell. No. Okay. Did you so, see you know, where they were last headed? Last I saw them, they were headed toward Valentine, and they, m I believe someone mentioned they might have been headed towards Rhodes as well. We just came from Rhodes, we did not see anybody there, nor has Sheriff Elderson seen anybody, or has been, in but we did alert him that uh, there has, is a group of about six or seven folks with red bandana and Robin boat. We just All came right. back from Strawberry Valentine area, didn't see him along the roads or anything. Well, driving, you know, we inroads are wire tree, man. Seemed very suspicious. Uh, they did actually have red bananas and happened to be on. Two of them were on brown horses, Mustangs. One of them was a dark brown horse with a mask on. The fella's name is uh, Tommy Diggs, I think. They referred to him as Boss. Um, he refused to put a shotgun away as well, armed to the teeth. Seemed very uh, passive aggressive when he spoke to me. And, very, uh, Tommy. He says his name was Tommy Guns. Tommy Diggs. Like, you know, Diggs a grave. And what'd you say he looked like? Um, you know, he had a western looking hat on, like a cowboy hat. Yeah, all black out clothes. He was on a dark brown horse. Like a he tall. Yeah, I think he had a black beard. He was definitely wearing red within his outfit. Had a mask on his horse. Um, he likes to go around with his pump action shotgun, which on, even in towns, and refused to uh, put it away when the sheriff told him to. And uh, the other man he was with didn't wear a hat. He had a pretty distinctive red and black eye patch on. He referred to Tommy as the uh, boss. Wait, 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 wait. He had an eye patch on? The guy with yeah. the beard? Yeah, what, what, what kind of accent did he have? 
Uh, kind of like, uh, he's talking to you, boss. You know, some, some like that. Okay. Never mind. That's not who I thought it was. A little bit deeper than my voice. Fat, fattish fellow, you know, on the bigger side. He was on mm -hmm. a brown Mustang. Alright, that's good information now. I've been informed by the marshals that any information that might lead to their capture will be rewarded handsomely. At the moment, there are two marshals about, uh, Marshal Skull and Marshal Woody Fulton. And last I saw, Woody was... Um... Dolly, did you see where he was round off to? I think last I saw him was Strawberry, but I didn't see where he was ran off. He was in Strawberry, might have head towards Valentine. But beyond that, if you have information, you know, present it to the marshals, uh, present it to myself. And I could be a liaison on that. But do not engage them. We do have uh, some remedies for this in the works. I believe uh, John Lynch and Maxwell McKenzie are hoping to start up a uh, private security company down here in Blackwater. So hopefully that should yep. help make things a little safer. That's right. Me and McKenzie are here for anyone that needs any any kind of protection, any help at all. If you need to go somewhere, feel free to ask us. We'll bring you there free of charge. Our office is by the city hall. Very good. I appreciate that very much. No problem. All right. Do we have any more questions? Call them the Baller Gang? Baller Gang? Who's, who's Baller it? Twins Gang. Baller Twins Gang? Um, and, and these I mean, are... They used to have red bandanas. We hadn't seen them in a while. Cody was part of the gang. Okay. A couple months, ain't it? Maybe. It might be just a different group who has the same look. Black and red seems to be very popular with criminals, so... It's very yeah, stylish, obviously. It's the edgy color. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I should probably go change. Yeah, it looks like I should, gotta go change. Well, if you want to be in this you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? Mm -hmm. I want to stay here. I'll be right. No! I I oh, God. Not this, no. Oh, no. I literally Stop have a red Stop on. Saying it for the... Oh, my God. It's He's okay probably if you confuse check the enemy, reports and see if uh, the Bolo twins are still around. Oh, are they called the I Bowler or the right. Baller? I really doubt it. Ball I think it's Bowler. Baller. Like, Bowler. Yeah. Like, like Bowler twins. Bollard. Bollard. Gotcha. Yeah. Bollard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like billiards, but... Take out the eye in the middle and put. Never mind. Anyways, well, we ain't uh, never uh, yeah. that was their uh, their gang yeah, leaders or something, but they was in prison, so there was no twins in the gang. The Why the fuck are they called twins? Look like a fucking goonie. No, the the twins were like the leaders. Uh, oh. Damn it! I like black and red. Come on. Looks good on you, Chad. Works for you. Just that it's it's an overused color scheme. Uh. I got nothing else. I don't want to do fucking black and white. This shit's boring as hell. I don't want to be a goddamn Good newspaper. Well, well, how about not something? being black? You know, like, I, I, just such don't a I, used I, color. I hate you, Sonny. You can wear pink. I hate you, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you right now, Sonny. Yeah, you <laughs> see? Two people can play at this game. Oh, boy. Oh, great. Uh, I guess I gotta no, get my edgy your knife. outfit, too. Do you see my oh, my God. Sheriff Dallas, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Waiting on North to say y'all now. <laughs> Trot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I oh actually choked on the water. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Wait here. Just look for the fella that reads too many oh, damn wait, books. Well, maybe that's just me. Mm. Might just be a you thing. I'm not sure if I know him. We just have to give the tone. Very disappointed I think all the time. Through town, asking me questions, I never know the answer, so that's probably it. North is uh, probably going to be a, a little bit out of it while his ears are ringing like they are. Uh, oh, his mm -hmm. ears are ringing. Well, it's because he put on the red bandana. What did you expect? That makes yeah. your ears ring. Do you think he's? Do you think he still needed to talk to us? I don't know. We'll no, see. I think that he got sleep, all the main information. Yeah, you could probably go to sleep. Yeah, if if there is anything else that we learn, we'll you know. We're a township, not a cult. We'll 
make sure you find out. <laughs> oh, oh, we are not a cult. Not a cult. No, we're not. Stop yeah, spreading propaganda. Weird. Mm -hmm. uh, you, Avi, know where the Blackwater Blaster is, thank you? It's true. That is the worst name I've heard. Shut up. Okay, Miss blame Miss Credence for that. <laughs> All right, I probably should say goodnight to people. Good night, everyone. Good night. Why do you have to go to sleep when I'm Good going night, to sleep, everybody. Ash? Why do you have to go to sleep when I'm going to sleep? I. Damn. I wow. am. Why? I'm not really. Well, right. Like... Anyway. anyway Good night. Good night. Awkward, y'all. <laughs> Awkward. Good night, Good night, Mr. Randall. Alright. I think the main thing though is just be careful when going out of town and the don't roads that aren't in Blackwater. So, yeah, don't so be don't stupid. Please don't ride around with your gun out looking for them. That's probably the worst thing that you could do. I mean, honestly, just use the I mean, I do kind of take offense to the marshals insinuating that we were a mob. We were not a mob. Uh, it wasn't just here. It was also like Strawberry. There's a couple I mean, other people locations. People are scared. I don't. Maybe they should do shit before they start calling people a mob. Yeah, unfortunately, they can't really do anything just yet. Like, we're <laughs> trying to get descriptions. Mm -hmm. Marsha seems to seem very, uh, very high and mighty on a lot of topics. You mean, I think you meant to say useless. Yes, that's, that's a good one. Except for Woody. Woody's good. Woody's great. Now, I don't want no trouble. Am I going to have to stay in Blackwater today? So I mean, I just travel with, just travel with friends. Trouble. Uh, you could you also try taking a else, boat. Just go with someone. If you need uh, to go somewhere, you know, back to your hotel room in another town. Uh, yeah. the, some of us can the, take you. Use the beaches, and then if you want, you can, like, probably... Yeah, you, I honestly just use the beaches. It's a little bit safer that way. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Just traveling via coast is not, not only faster, so it tends to be safer. People yeah. don't hit those spots. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't get wolves and you don't get dickheads. So yeah, I do ones. like those beaches for their um, how fast they are. So I guess I just keep doing that then. Yep. Until they start using the beaches as well. Mm, that would be unfortunate. I just seem to target main roads is because people tend to use the main roads more often, especially when they just let the horse do its thing. So it's, uh, the main roads are typically where I, I find highwaymen hit. Yeah. It's just not smart to travel alone, you know? Mm -hmm. If you are, maybe take different roads. He needs oh. to clean out his ears better, more often. Look, look, look. You know what? Oh, oh how? <laughs> how deep? Okay. Uh, terribly sorry about that. I think uh, the uh, winter is going to be a bit of a head cold here. I, I terribly apologize. Uh, just uh, wrapping it up a bit here. Uh, just you know, make sure you watch out for your neighbor. Act offensively. Don't be proactive on this. Let the law take care of it. And beyond that, if there's any uh, questions, any information... Just direct it to myself or the marshals, and we'll uh, try to take care of it, alright? Yep, no problem. Sounds yep. good, mm -hmm. Shane. So you're saying right, that we so can't much go around you. trying to find them ourselves, and, you know, get in the gunfights, and then blame it on you for not being around? For the love of God, do not get in the gunfights. Not just for that reason. More... For your own sake, because so people deep. get killed during that. Huh? Sorry, ma'am? Oh, no, just agreeing with you for your own safety. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't, uh, didn't hear you there. Um, but, yeah, just uh, yeah, just make sure you don't do that. Like, it, that's dangerous. Of course. You don't get shot. Can, can we hold our guns and rifles when we're walking around in town? I... Okay, here's the thing.
threatening your life, yes, you can carry a gun. Yeah, I heard him fun. Well, I, I only heard pick up a little bit. Maybe I need to come up. Yeah, me too. I'll get very, very close. Um, yeah, that's better. Oh. There's some strange things happening right now, but just uh, you know, exercise common sense on it. If you uh need to use your weapon to defend yourself, your property, you're not gonna be begrudged for it. However, you know, don't be carrying around town proactively. Exercise common sense. All right, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Any other questions? No, sir. On a scale right. of one to ten, how mad would you be at me if they went to rob me and I decided to shoot them in the head? Like I said, if your life's being threatened, you do what you gotta do to defend yourself. But... Not that I'm gonna go looking for it, but you know, I ride those roads a lot. I understand. Yeah. Just act as the situation calls for it, Sonny. Sounds good. Can we just tell him to quick look at your shoe? There's a lot of mud on it. I think it's real dirty. You might want to look at it and then run away. No, that that is, you. If that works, that works. Yeah. That is also a valid strategy. Whatever it takes to get you. The run away and... option, great. Yeah, I mean, running away. Like, doing what you got to do to make sure that you and your friends and your family stay safe on those roads. You know, exercise those options. If you can run away, do it. Don't be a hero. Mm -hmm. Maybe just fall over and faint and play the damsel in distress. You can't rob somebody that's on the ground, can you? I can, but... Oh no, my legs are jelly. Liam, oh, no. I <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> Don't rob me! I have cholera. <laughs> I got the I got tuberculosis. <laughs> there, there, there are grave robbers out there, so <coughs> oh, like they do work. <laughs> I was an armadillo. <laughs> Skeletons. <laughs> I sounded wet. Jeez, go see a doctor. It sounded very oh. convincing. Good lord. Oh, you're <laughs> robbing me. I know Tommy Two Bones. There you go. Easy. Is he alright? Tommy can give me those two. Never mind. Yeah, I'll be alright. Oh, whoa, just, okay. Just right. laying here okay. looking up at the ceiling. Thank you for asking. God damn it, now I gotta switch over to black just, and yeah, blue. Yeah, concern. You should. Um, I'm gonna have to wear all black and red I now. mean, it's better yeah. not to be wearing black What's wrong with anyways? black and blue? Huh? I like black and blue. <gasps> I, I, like I, like black and blue. I, I, I like black and red. I'm a black and red type of guy, but, you know, since it's so overused, I gotta switch over. I mean, what do you want to wear, honestly? Wait, what? Okay, I'm literally here. wearing a red bandana and, and, and I'm wearing black and red. I wouldn't let I wouldn't let this fellow tell you about fashion. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, he looks Mr. like a Pinkerton. Mr. Nord? I'm wearing jeans. He doesn't know what jeans look like, you know. They were jeans. No, Liam is very fashionable. Have you seen the shirt he's wearing? T take off your jacket. Show him, show me your shirt. Yeah. Show me your shirt. Look at that. That is not. That is a warm purple.
Ebene. Sir. All right. Who is still around? Let us see. Let's go right, Kate. Thank you everybody for coming. I had a good time. Dead tired though. Things tracked on a bit more with, you know, the robbery and all that stuff, but uh yeah. Um, go say hello to Kate, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.